round two, clap it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. And pyrrhic 
at all. What you gonna do now, you horny teenage zombie? Put the dick down, you promiscuous teenage zombie. Lack of respect has reached epidemic proportions. No more, no movie theater. No Planned Parenthood is safe from these thugged out, emo, superficial, preppy, gothic, moronic, teenage zombies, parents, teachers, Al Sharpton, gather, <laughs> gather with me in libraries, museums, and path marks, produce aisle. We will arm ourselves with belts and books. Whack! Pick your pants up, you teenage zombie. We tired of seeing a cracky old ass. Teenage zombie, using dictionaries and thesauruses to bash in skulls until complete sentences are spoken. We will sever their lifelines by building skinny jean bonfires. Transform her into him, and no matter how cold the night gets, sleeping with 
enemy should never be an option because her life was not her. Her blood was that same shade of red her great great grandparents bled on the night they died screaming. And if she would just close her eyes and listen, she'd hear the voices of the children marching through her veins trying to call her back. But since nobody told her that middle management was not her manifest destiny, she's been passing off pieces of her sanity praying for a promotion. Not knowing that her value could never be measured in eight hour increments nor her potential contained in six by eight foot boxes, she continues with the corporate sharecropping, believing that somehow these concrete cotton fields are assigned. Somebody should have told her and saved her soul from the luster of diamond and crusted shadows. Teach her to stand strong on the principles of her ancestors so on the days that pussy pays more than principle, she'd be able to hold strong and not part of the people. I have witnessed my sister abandon struggle for status, believing that somewhere between a master's and a bachelor's she'd find her fear. Watch her lose her mind after $80,000 worth of postgraduate debt and these bastards still would be. Convinced her that education was the key, but not with three degrees, she still can't find the door to walk through. Not understanding that any key master willingly gives will not unlock the chains that bind you. score of 28.6. Applaud the poets. <laughs> Final poet in our second round. Put your hands together for Omar Ion Holman. times I prayed. One hand. Two. My best friend asked me, why is it every girl you date wants to find God after they have sex with you? <laughs> I reply, I don't know, Ian. Why is it you tell time by saying it's a quarter to whiskey or half past tequila? <laughs> Three. I believe in Murphy's Law. Anything that can't go wrong will go wrong. Four. My father's a man of science. I don't know what he believes. I tend to question what proof he's found to the color human that God please and ask him five. My mother is shotgun subtle when it comes to breaking bad news. I just read Aaron Brockovich, Julia Roberts has huge teeth. By the way, cancer's bad. It's in my liver and spine. It's spreading through my legs. Seriously though, she has huge teeth. She believes in God. The way I believe everything will be okay by been watching her lose faith in her human as the presence of a cane becomes a reminder that her shotgun subtle is becoming sandcastle. And whenever people say she is in their prayers, I become more of my father's son, trying to configure a formula for the measurement of prayers as if I could see how many more it will be till she is allowed to take setting up for granted again. How many more do I believe everything will be okay? Six. I ask her if she's afraid. She says no. I ask her if she thinks this is it, she doesn't know. Then I ask, so between me and you, do you want my brother to be the one to pull the plug because he's the least favorite? Because the way I see it, if it's got to the kids to do it, might as well be that one. <laughs> she laughs, says my humor always came like a prayer being answered to her seven all along laughter. It's what the anatomy of my prayer looked like. This is how I pray in front of altar of strangers. Eight, my mother is too stubborn to die. Her pride is a scientific law that states the will to live is not privilege or birthright. In other words, I've had two ex-husbands. If I can survive their bullshit, I can handle this. I'm running out of life, not running out of fight. Nine, welcome to the rematch. Three years in the making, introducing the challenger, sporting a record of 5.8 million knockouts due to cancer alone, the white light at the end of the tunnel, the grim. Reaper and our champion. It's 
sporting record of 15,000 Ashwabans or a span of three kids weighing in at none of your damn business, Isabel, I'll get you something to cry about home in 10. I believe in Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong, but I also believe in anomalies that anything that can go wrong will get better. I believe the color human that God bleeds is compassion, and I believe the will to live is not privilege or birthright. It is fight. It is instinct. It is your swan song from backwards, Mom. I still believe 